This here is a realistic clarinet 102 AM FM 8 track cassette turntable. Three speeds, 33, 45, 78, off, on, and auto. So it's fully automatic. The way these ones would work, you'd stack your records up here. This goes on top of them. So you drop the records, then shut off after the last record. Put it like this, and it will repeat the last record over and over and over. So let's go ahead and hook it up. Turn down and get flagged. I got it taken apart because it was very staticky, messing with the volume and balance and stuff like that. It wouldn't didn't want to work right. So I took it apart, drowned everything in the contact cleaner, including the power switch because it wouldn't shut off when I turned it off. It would stay powered on, even with the button off, it was still staying powered on. So I sprayed the power switch too. And now everything works the way it should. And I sprayed all these with contact cleaner. Sprayed the record switch with contact cleaner because that can cause issues too, even if you're not recording. So if you have an 8-track player that maybe one channel doesn't work or not, you'd want to re you'd want you would take it apart and you'd look for this little thing here, this slider here, and you would spray that while sliding it back and forth. Sprayed that, sprayed the switch, moved everything while it was wet to clean off any oxidation. Now it sounds a lot better. So now let's hook it up to my big speakers and see what, what we sound like. Sounds good through those. I'll go ahead and give it one more cleaning because it's still a bit staticky, but it's 100% better than what it was. Said so now it shuts off and it wouldn't do that before. So I'll go ahead and I'll just give it, I'll de energize it obviously. You don't want to spray contact cleaner when the thing's live. Make sure it's unplugged and de energized first before you go ahead and spray this. So I'll unplug it, turn it off it, wait a couple seconds, and then I'll spray the pots again. Just to double make sure, just to get the initial, I got the initial oxidization off, but there might be another layer. So it might take a couple more cleanings just to get it 100%. But before I do that, let's go ahead and test out the turntable. We know it rotates. So let me put a record on there and switch out the needle real quick. Okay, we got the needle on it. I'll put a record on it. We're going to try the auto. Needs a bit of adjustment. Now wait till we get some actual music. If I crank it up. could get flagged. So we'll come back. No, it's not playing it too fast, that's just how he sounds. He sings in a falsetto most of the time. King Diamond fans would know this. So, it works. 
for some reason this is in off alignment now so it won't drop on the record automatically and it shuts off so we'll have to monkey around with that figure out where the adjustments are to uh, make that so we got the one for the tension got another adjustment there just will monkey around with it a bit and see if I can get it lined up or not okay I do some adjustments this screw in the back this guy right here is the uh, adjustment for how far in or out it goes. I've got to the point where it just lands on the record. I can't get it any better than that. That's the best I can get it. So at least it lands on the record now. So that's how you adjust that. And it does shut off when it's supposed to shut off. So put this in, hit auto. That will stop it. it turns into the home position. And just like that. So that works. Let's try out the cassette tape. Alright, got a cassette tape in after cleaning the head and letting it dry. Just use rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to clean the tape head. And the capstan pinch roller. Volume's down for the second. Let's see. Tape counter works. That works. Cassette works no problem. Playing at the right speed. All the functions work. Fast forward it. It's a CRO2 tape. Some older players had like a yeah like you had a selection from metal, CRO2 or normal. The CRO2 refers to the tape material itself like what they make the actual tape ribbon out of now now to any cassette tapes made today are made out of ferric That works. The wine works. Flip it over to side two. It's not auto reversing. I can't test the eight track. I didn't bring those with me at the moment. Just the vinyl and the cassette. So the radio, vinyl, and cassette all work. He said they work, and he said the A-track works just it's sounded muffled. So I went ahead and cleaned the tape head with rubbing alcohol. The next time I'm over here, I'll bring an A-track with me and we'll see what it sounds like. You know, he could have just had a bad tape, you know. If you play an A-track and it has like worn pressure pads, or they're missing all together, then you can get shitty sound. Because you need that constant tension against the head. So I'll try it with some tapes that I've rebuilt and we'll see if that works. But meanwhile, I'll go ahead and throw this thing back together. So, Realistic Clarinet 102 by Radio Shack. Works flawlessly so far and I got that working flawless, flawlessly now too. So, thanks for watching.